Hello, I'm Martin Looker from Silicon Labs. In this video, I'll be showing you project generation in Simplicity Studio by creating, compiling, flashing, and running the Bluetooth Blinky example application. I have Simplicity Studio installed on my PC, along with the SDK for 32-bit and wireless MCUs, including the extensions for Matter and Wise Connect, which is for our Wi-Fi products. So I'm ready to start creating wireless and non-wireless projects. I'll be working with a Silicon Labs Pro Kit with an EFR 32MG24 radio board. This is a multi-protocol processor supporting Bluetooth, Zigbee, Thread and Matter. But the same process is used when working with all our technologies and includes our other board formats like the Dev Kits and Explorer Kits. The easiest way to start a new project is to connect your board using USB and the connected board will be detected and displayed in the debug adapters panel. The launcher perspective is where you go to start developing and the information displayed is relevant to the board selected. I want to create a new project and start developing an application which begins in the example projects and demos tab. As you can see, we currently have 467 options available for the connected board. To help you find what you need, there are filters down the left hand side. If you want to start from nothing, choose one of the empty projects. These are available for the various supported protocols like Bluetooth and will include a relevant framework. And you can also find starting points for these that include an RTOS. Finally, for non-wireless applications, there is the MTC project. You can get a running start if you begin with an example close to your intended application, or if you simply want to explore example code to get going. It's traditional in embedded development to start with a Blinky application, so let's do that and create the Bluetooth Blinky project. In the new project wizard, you can apply some configuration settings. I prefer to prefix the project name with the board number, just in case I create the same project for a different board in the future. Once created, you can find your new project in the Project Explorer panel. Some commonly used files will automatically be opened. The README for the project contains useful information on how to operate it. Also, be aware that most of our examples require a bootloader to be programmed into your board in addition to the application, and you'll find details here. As I'm using a Series 2 chip and an SOC project, I need to use the Bluetooth AppLoader OTA DFU bootloader. You can create bootloader projects in exactly the same way as example application projects. I've already created and compiled the required bootloader for this Blinky application. Now we have generated our first project, let's see how to build, flash and run it. To compile the application, select the top level project and click the build button that has a hammer icon on the toolbar. While the application compiles, I'll point out that you will also find demo applications in addition to example project in the launchers, example projects and demos tab. The demo applications can be directly programmed into boards using the run button and will also program a bootloader. These are a great way to quickly evaluate a project or board without having to create and compile a project. Next, I'm going to flash the bootloader and application into the Pro Kit, starting with the bootloader. The compiled binary files will be located in the binaries folder of the project. Locate the .s37 file, right click and select flash to device. As I don't know what software is currently in this device, I'm first going to erase the whole chip using the Erase button. Then I can click Program to flash the bootloader and close the window. Then I'll locate the Blinky.s37 file, right click it and select Flash to Device. This time I'll just hit Program as I don't want to erase the bootloader. You can reprogram just the application like this as you are developing your software 
without having to reprogram the bootloader so long as you don't need to change the bootloader for a different application type. The Erase I started with was to ensure I was working with a totally blank device for this new project. Let's see the application in use. I'm using the Simplicity Connect app on my phone. This is the new name for EFR Connect if you have used it in the past. This mobile app can work as a general Bluetooth toolkit but also has interfaces specific to some of the example projects. In the Demos tab, I can open the Blinky demo. The Blinky example I just programmed has already been discovered, so I can select it to communicate. Tapping the light icon in the app will toggle LED0 on and off. The state of the button on my ProKit board will be reflected in the app. In the next video in this series, I'll show you how to alter the Bluetooth services and characteristics offered by the application in Simplicity Studio's Bluetooth GAT configurator. If you want to be notified when the new video is available, please subscribe to the Silicon Labs YouTube channel. You can find links to the other videos in this series and further information on the topics in this video in the video description. Thanks for watching.